Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. Continuing with some world news, President Obama kicked off his trip to Asia today. First stop, Beijing, where attendees of an international summit there were greeted with a display that would make Las Vegas blush. The events included this photo of world leaders looking like something out of a magazine spreads who wore it best. I know, I know, it's a tradition at these things. Less typical was the fanfare, as Beijing did not seem to hold anything back. Today, Beijing rolled out its neon bright welcome mat for President Obama and the other world leaders meeting in Beijing, a spectacular display and one that was a bit odd. The carefully choreographed dancers, the precise laser lights, the traditional matching outfits. The last time we saw a public display quite like this was, frankly, in the Hunger Games. This is the bright and shiny face China wants the world to see, but it takes a lot of work to get here. It is wonderful to be back in China, and I'm grateful for the Chinese people's extraordinary hospitality. Before President Obama's arrival, Chinese officials announced a six-day public holiday for central and city government employees, which lasts until the summit is over. They will, of course, have to make up those days, working weekends after Obama is long gone. Thus, gone went the crowds. Farewell to the smog and the traffic. They disappeared. Though, of course, there are worse ways people disappear in China. Here, the crowds were replaced by heightened security, an odd even license plate traffic ban, and even electric buses. It's all reminiscent of the glamorous makeover the city underwent before its dazzling debut as the host of the 2008 Summer Olympics. 17,000 people worked then to build the innovative Bird's Nest Stadium. Inside the summit today, China is setting out to upend its drab communist image with an unprecedented show of national pride and international sophistication. But even that did not stop the president from telling China they have to go beyond the surface to clean up their city. Steady, sustainable growth requires a planet where citizens can breathe clean air. Today, President Obama, still smarting from his American election night thumping, was greeted warmly by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Tomorrow, after yet another welcome ceremony, the two will have a private dinner to hash out the problems the countries face beyond the glittery surface.